Hello everybody and welcome. Hope you're all well. Last couple of sessions we looked at um because we split it in two because they were going on a bit long. We looked at um BME 280, humidity, pressure and temperature sensor. And we wrote uh, an Arduino IDE to take that data from the uh, uh, from the uh, component, pass it to a Raspberry Pi where we have Influx DB installed, and then we built a um, dashboard to display that uh, data. So let's go over to here. This is what we built. All right. So we got different uh, cells, they're called. We can add cells here. And I've been playing around with it a bit. And a couple of gauges, one with the readings in the middle, a graph, a gauge, and a table at the bottom. And I can click on each one of these. It'll give me pressure, temperature, All right? Humidity. But talking about my Raspberry Pi, I had a, a complete disaster a couple of days ago. Um, my SD card started failing, and they're they're renowned for that because they're not really meant for read and write. Um, they're more for storing data, really. So what I did, I, I purchased a couple of these, and on um, on the YouTube, the old Tinternet. I uh, I found a, a video that showed you how to migrate the SD card to an SSD, solid state drive. So I've done that. So this spare one's ready for my Raspberry Pi Five when it arrives. But anyway, I digress. I digress. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to build a, a Raspberry Pi monitoring system. Now I've got the new system up and running, right, and on this occasion, on this occasion, we're going to, I'm going to be copying and paste, pasting the commands because um, they're long, there's lots of big numbers in them. Um, and what you can do, freeze the video and then copy the instructions. But the first thing we need to do, we need to stay on our, uh, uh, influx DB. First thing we need to do is create a bucket. Okay, so we've got our buckets here. Right, I've already got uh, my Raspberry Pi. Okay, here. Yeah. All right, I've already got it um, established or built or created. Let's create a, a bucket. Remember how we do this and raspberry dash pi. Oh, that's underscore. You can use underscore if you want pi. And then you create. All right. Okay, I've already created mine, so I'm going to cancel that. All right. So there I've got my raspberry pi bucket. Then come across here. We need to create a token. All right, I've already created mine, but create API token, all access API token, and again in here, Raspberry Pi. Okay, I said all oh, mine's already created. So when you sit save, your um, Raspberry Pi API key will come up. What you need to do, you need to save that in a safe place. Okay, you need to save that in a safe place. Right, so let's minimize this. And let's call up our good old terminal. All right, our good old terminal. Okay, so what we're gonna be building, as I said, is a Raspberry Pi system, uh, monitoring system using InfluxDB, but also a plugin called Telegraph, all right? 
And what we're going to do, we're going to monitor central processing unit, CPU, the GPU, which is a graphical processing unit, temperatures, um, and other data. Right, that's what we're going to be producing. Now, we are going to be using a template. We are going to be using a template. Now, I've left down below in the description a link where you can get all types of different templates. All right, and you can <clears throat> you can adjust them and create delete cells as you wish. All right, but the first thing we're going to do, obviously, we've created our bucket, we've created our token. So the next thing is we need to um, pass through our authentication credentials right as i said i am going to be copying and pasting right because you're forever copying your token key but here's the first command i'm going to copy that let me bring this up and remember and i've already uh done this but it is in flux in flux space config space create space dash dash config dash name space influx dash conflict uh, config space backslash space dash dash host dash url dash http colons forward slash flat forward slash forward slash then your ip address followed by colons and 8086 space backslash space dash dash org space home whatever organization remember when you first set up your account wherever you named it that's what needs to go there space backslash dash dash token space then your raspberry pi token all right space dash dash active and press enter all right as you can see mine says already exists already exists okay so that's what we need to do now we need to apply the influx uh, the raspberry pi template so i'm going to copy this command edit copy Come back to my command line and paste. So this command is influx dash apply dash sorry space dash u space https colons forward slash forward slash raw dot github user content dot com forward slash influx data forward slash community dash templates forward slash master forward slash raspberry pi forward slash raspberry dash pi dash system dash yml enter and there you go you can see it loads a template we click yes press enter all right now we need to install the telegraph plugin right and here we go let's copy that let's copy that paste enter okay so let me just clear that so we go to the top so we've installed a part of the telegraph plugin this is the next command now this is where i'm saying it's long numbers all right okay and it's seen that Go back to the beginning is echo okay 
I obviously didn't copy in the echo. And then there's this long number. Let me. All right. Starting here. I'll leave this on just for a minute. But there's this long number. All right. And then followed by influx data dash archive underscore combat dot key and the uh, uh, quotes all right so quote at the beginning quote at the end space line sha256 sum space dash c space and and space cat cat space influx data dash archive underscore underscore compact dot key baseline epg space dash dash dear more space line space space pseudo space t space four slash etc four slash apt four slash trusted dot g e g dot d four slash influx data dash archive underscore compact dot gpg space four slash dev space four slash null enter okay and then you'll get the uh influx dash archive underscore combat dot compact dot key colons okay right so that's that one then the next one, all right, copy, edit, paste, all right. As I said, I'm not going to be doing this all the time. This is just because it's long, drawn out commands. And I'm, the videos sometimes go on a bit too long. There's echo dash quote deb space square brackets on signed dash by equals or slash etc forward slash apt or slash trusted dot gpg dot d or slash influx data dash archive underscore compact dot gpg square brackets off space again https colons forward slash forward slash repos dot influx data dot com or forward slash debian space stable space main quotes space quotes off space line space pseudo space t space forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash sources dot list dot d for slash influx data dot list enter all right and then the next one we're going to install telegraph that's all the prep done to install it and it's um copy of that sudo for super user space apt dash get Space update space and and space sudo space apt dash get space install space telegraph enter and it loads. All right. Now I've installed it before, so uh, now we need to do install the following variables. Okay, let me clear that. Enter. The following variables. Okay. Again, this includes your token. Token. That's the main reason why I'm doing this because we'll be forever typing, making mistakes in the code. <coughs> and if you've got your token, you you can follow these commands and just put your copy and paste your token in all right so 
it's export space influx underscore host all capitals equals http colons forward slash forward slash then your IP address colons 8086 then it's export space influx underscore token equals and then your token right for your Raspberry uh, RPI token and then export space influx underscore org equals home enter all right good and the last one come back to your um influx database go to telegraph all right okay and your raspberry pi will come up then go see here it says setup instructions click on it and here don't worry about this we've already configured our api token but here is your telegraph command to start telegraph copy right click paste All right so that's where you find it in the setup okay of your telegraph enter and there you go your uh, telegraph has started your telegraph plug plugin has started you can now close that we come to our dashboards okay and again our raspberry pi system dashboard appears like magic and let's click on it fingers crossed everybody And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. We have lift off. Okay. You can see we got system update. <coughs> we got a CPU temperature and a GPU temperature. And we've got four CPUs. System load. Total memory we've got. I've got 1.80. This is a, a two gigabit <clears throat> Pi 4. When I get my Pi 5, that's eight gigabit. It's going to be a lot more powerful. Memory usage. You can see I'm using a lot of memory. Disk usage. CPU usage. System load, etc. The swap file. Processes. Network. Okay, because I've got um, two Wi-Fi networks at home. And then we've got disk input and output. Now what we can do, you can either click this button every so often to refresh it. All right. But what we can do, we can set auto refresh. Got mine set at 60 seconds. But if we come down, you can pretty much... Um, Set your times up up to one hour okay but i'm leaving it at 60 seconds confirmed and there we have it right there we have our raspberry pi monitoring system right um hope you learned something there hope you learned something there sorry about the cut, cutting and pasting but the videos have been going on quite a long time I'm trying to reduce time, right? You can, uh, you know, pause the video, copy them commands, all right? And then we'll go from there. Okay, so, well, thanks for watching. I promise you I won't be doing cutting and pasting uh, that often. It's only when them long numbers are involved, all right? But thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye.